Welcome back, Hoylings, to more Might and Magic 2! Trying to keep this ball rolling? We're going to actually go to Sanzibar so we can just... Use that little portal here. We already fought the rats once, we're not going to fight them again. So we just backed into there and basically avoided that encounter. Alright, let's explore below Sanzibar. There are lots of traps down here, so you want to be careful. And there's vermin as well. Killer canine, oh shit. Hundred and sixty five damage. Kicking the shit out of these killer canines. They can suck my canine you know what. Lightning bolt these bitches. Keel's over. One left. It bit Ronstock on the toe for two damage. And Clot smashes its fucking skull in. 420th battle. Spark one up for the game hoarder. Blow a. Blow a. Fucking THC filled smoke ring at the screen for the game hoarder for his 420th battle. God damn it. I meant to search. Oh well, we lost all our stats anyways after that battle. Let's get our light back up. I'm just kind of down here putzing around for now, not really sure what else to do. Ah, oh, fuck. Lost my clairvoyance as well. That's one thing you don't lose after battle, which is nice. As you can see, we have gems for days. Luglug has 512 to give out. Hidden amongst the pack's bone cache is a dog whistle. Okay. We take the dog whistle. No clue what that's for, but... We'll find out one day. Now there are thieves down here that will train you in thievery, however there are also thieves down here that will steal from you, because they're thieves, and that kind of shit happens. Once you map this place out, you'll find that uh, you'll be able to dodge these ankle traps. Let's see, I was full health, and it looks like Clot took 20 damage from that. So they're not that big a deal. Wear bats, on the other hand. They get fucked up, too. A foul-smelling zombie hands you an admin 8 pass and says, This will help you in Korax Cavern. You take it, and then you piss on the zombie and walk off. Fuck you, zombie. You. 
All right, where else do we want to go in this bitch hole? I want to train Lo Wang in thievery because right now he kind of sucks in thievery, if you haven't noticed. There's other clues you can find around here. Obviously, since I'm using maps, I don't really need to fuck with all that. I just hope we don't get into a battle that screws me. Casting invisibility. How could you hit Ronstock? He was fucking invisible. Some bullshit. Get some healing. A lightning bolt, this bitch. Nice. Ariel killed quite a few. Thunder comes in and swings his battle axe, causing 19 damage to the doggy's ass. Viper shoots the swamp dog in the dome piece, and then Tra crushes his fucking skull in. Uglug walks up and kicks one in the balls for 37 damage, castrating him immediately. Even Ronstock takes a swing and misses like a little bitch. The wing karate chops. Karate chops for 26 damage. And that's all she wrote for the doggies. Disease like a some bitch. Each shares worth 30 gold and Trog found a short sword plus one. Hey, that's my cock! Let's cure some disease here. Viper and Ronstock are diseased. All right. Burglars. guys steal shit and run away. So you gotta fucking kill him quick like that. Alright. Some more magic shit. We'll take it. Etched in mud, a message on the floor reads, Look in Castle Zabran at X6Y2. You'll find the Earth Disk. So as you're traveling around, you need to find the different elemental disk. And these give you clues as to where to go for them. Thieves Guild. Assassinated? Is that like instant death? There's two ninjas dead. All right, luckily that only knocked her out.
Fuck it, kill him. We need Lo Wang up, so we need to heal him. He's unconscious, luckily. Gems, 43 gold and an electric axe and ring mail 3. That's not too shabby. And for all our hard work here in the dungeon, the infamous master thief, Rinaldo Jr., will train your thieves in the finer points of pilfering for 700 gold. You feel more street smart. And now you can see our thievery is 65. All right, that's pretty much all we need here. We're gonna play it safe and get the fuck out of here and go save. Which is why we love the surface spell. care about gambling. We do want to get diplomacy, however. Diplomacy gives plus five personality. That'll be good for our cleric. <coughs> Who now is a diplomat crusader? Why not? We already have the yellow key and we've already done the yellow key quest. Solid! Let's save. There's no cursed items in Might and Magic 2 like there was in 1, so you don't have to really worry about that. Obviously, we're going to keep that stuff. Knights, archers, and uh, paladins can use the sickle. I don't think we need the sling either. Ringmail plus three. Looking at my character sheet here. Lo Wang has regular ring mail as far as I know, so we'll put that on him. The electric axe plus two. If you use a shield, that'd be nice. I don't think anyone can though, so I'm gonna sell it. need the helm. And we don't need two holy charms either. We don't really need the mark keys. We already did that quest. It's not really worth our time, but I'll hang on to it. If I go, go by the uh, guy again, I can get the free money. You can repeat a lot of the quest in this, so... 
If it's worth the experience, by all means, do it. If it's not, fucking don't do it. Oh, Loang already has it. All right, good. Duh. Okay, so here's how we prove this. 7AC, right? So it should go to 10. There we go. Now we got the magic shit on. We'll sell the other stuff so there's no confusion. Which of course isn't worth shit. And I'll update my character sheet to ring mail plus three. All right. So we got Low Wing with the new and improved ring mail plus three. I've updated the character sheet so we can keep track of that. If it seems like music and the game itself is getting cut in and out a lot, that's because I pause this game a lot to kind of give myself a heads up on where I'm headed next. That way there's not a lot of downtime and wandering around aimlessly. That's no fun for anyone. This is a let's play, not a let's be gay. So, now where to go? It's a good question, ho. We can try doing the good old attribute buffs, which we did in my Magic Wand, the different dungeons that give you the plus 10 to your attributes. May or may not have the level power to do that. Let's find out. We want to go to Volcania. Once again, didn't take the free clairvoyance, not paying attention. Eats up a lot of spell points for that shit. Kind of weird. I mean, don't, does not seem like a lot of spell points. Went down from 72 to 45 just for casting Wizard Eye. Something, that, something's wrong with that. It's funny, the guide that uh, I've been reviewing actually says don't bother casting that spell or the Eagle Eye, it costs too much. That doesn't really help me now. I think that was a bit of oversight on their part. Yeah, that costs one SP. That's, you know, should cost five at most. Kind of ridiculous. I should probably save first. In the tavern. Or, excuse me, the inn. Gotta make it official. So I'm glad I saved, because this place is fucking dangerous. Like, really dangerous. 
I guess I'm on a fucking lava pit dying. Okay, well, I'm dead. I'm just gonna keep killing myself. All right, back here again, reloaded, trying not to die. You have to map out where all these pits are, obviously. And having the jump spell here is gonna be super important. As you're making your map, you're ensuring that you're writing down where all these bubbling lava pits are. And again, I am using a map to try to avoid them. However, the map is not that accurate because I walked right into one. Dude had it in the wrong place. So let's, uh, let's go for the endurance first. And a lot of drain levels and putting me to sleep and shit. It sucks not getting initiative. Holy fuck, really? I'm trying to speed this up, but since they have initiative, it's not letting me. Uh, this is fun. Sorry, nothing I can do. Drained all my magic. Looks like I'm gonna be reloading. Oh my god, this is fucking annoying. Holy shit. Really? Bitch is dead. How can she fall asleep? I'm gonna have to do this all of the warriors, so I might as well just speed through it. Holy shit, robots! That's a hit. That's not a hit, no beetle. I'm fucking dead, folks. Back in the dungeon again. I can attempt to jump past that monster. Or it might be a lot easier battle, I don't know. Until I try and find out. This is why you save at the fucking end every time. Now we don't have ethereal eyes, which would make things a lot easier. We have jump. Teleport. I think that gets us a few more spaces ahead. We're gonna try that teleport spell. Or jump even, we'll see what we can get away with here. I 
don't know if we can jump through walls is the only problem. Nine's good. All right. We just skipped a dick load of fights doing that. And then I found a bunch of rabid fucking rodents. Cast some fireball. So thin the ranks. The smell of burnt rat surrounds you. Lots of mutant swine here. I'm gonna cast another fireball. I hate waiting for the enemy, so. I used that speed button. These guys got some hit points. It's basically hitting multiple swine for 34 and 8, which makes it look like it's taking forever. Ow. Gone are the days of only two to four people being able to attack from the front. Now there's just fucking... It's just a swarm. Come on, you can do better than that. There you go. Kill one. Fuck. Kill two. No one's died yet, which is nice. But this is harsh. We can complete this battle and then die in the next battle, and then guess what? We gotta do this battle again. <clears throat> Soften uh, these guys up as much as I can. Hundred and eight damage. Fuck that mutant swine up. There you go, clot. Bash his brains in. Cast a lightning bolt in the front row. Go down, bitch. All right, that's a wrap. 2,400 experience. So 
So we can teleport, but we can't jump through walls. It's good to know. I got enough spell points now, bitch. There goes half your, half your spell points. Have a nice day. Okay, so we want to teleport two spaces. Get us out of two fights. That would probably kill me, who knows. Okay, somehow I'm in another fight. Fuck, that didn't work. This guy's map sucks! I'm just gonna speed through it and hope for the best. Yay, Lo Wang! Disarmed a fucking trap for once. Alright, let's check out our endurance. 18, 17, 16, all in the teens. You cringe as a lumbering giant sings a popular ballad very badly. Stay and listen. I thought I was supposed to get endurance. That didn't seem to work very well, though. What the fuck? A sudden draft sends a chill up your spine as a voice whispers, the air disc is at X15, Y15, and Zabron. I don't know if that's some kind of bug or what, but we were supposed to be able to get 10 endurance there. No clue. Maybe need to try it again. All right, so I figured it out. I figured it out. You cringe as a lumbering giant sings a popular ballad very badly. Stay and listen. So, of course, if you click yes, nothing happens, right? But you have to stay and listen. So, if you rest, and I shit you not, I had to figure this out on my own. Did not find it anywhere. But now you will see our endurance has increased. 27, 26, 23, 26, 27, yeah, 20, yes. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna do it again, and again, and again. This is when it starts to get fun, is when you can get down to these little places. And start using your powerful spells to your own benefit. We want to spam this immediately because you don't retro retroactively get hit points based on endurance. You get it based on when you level up. So the faster we get our endurance up, the better. By the way, it's two in the morning and uh, it's June 8th now actually but uh, I pounded a few good ones I actually recorded the first 33 minutes of this video earlier this morning and uh, I'm on a different level now in between where I couldn't figure out the giant shit and now 
That's now. We're talking to you now. Wait, what? Anyways. I'm going to show you guys a little trick. You can also cast Lloyd's Beacon. However, I really don't see the point. You can just cast Surface and walk right back in without losing your previous Lloyd Beacon destination. The key is remembering where all the fireball lava pits are. I mean, they do call it Volcanic Cavern for a reason. So the best trick I found is to come here and cast your teleport. If you come here earlier, obviously you're going to have to figure out a different way, but there's two, four, six, eight battles to get to the giant. We've got time for that shit. We've got a fucking LP to complete. So from here you teleport six spaces. We stay and listen again. And now we're at 38 endurance. So the limitation to this is that the plus 10 outlets that you get all these plus 10 at attributes uh, bona fide at, uh, they max out at 60. So we can get to 58 with Lug Lug, 57 with Trog, 56 with Low Wing, uh, 53 with Viper, 56. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get higher than that. Now you can, for instance, get the skills that give you plus five, like uh, Diplomacy and uh, Crusader or whatever. They give you the plus five stats, the skills that give you the plus five, that will actually bring you over. But the most you can get through the, uh, the plus tens is 10 at a time. And you can only go to 60. So at best I could hit anything 60 or below and then take the skill and go plus five above. However, I'm not even gonna worry about that. I think if we get in the 50s, we'll be good. So actually from here, we can just class cast surface. Probably good to save in between some of these as well, just in case the shit goes awry. I'm rusting, so you're losing your spells every time you do that. I definitely need that map. That's all I can say. I don't really need light at this point. <laughs> I've been through this map. It took me quite a few treks. Uh, so what I did to figure this out was I dropped all my items because at first I figured there was something I was carrying that was preventing the endurance gain. Then I dropped the uh, Thundar and Ariel thinking the NPCs were causing it. I couldn't figure it out. And then I stopped and I thunk a little bit longer and I said, hmm, rest. Or, Stay here a while. And I was like, how do I stay there a while? Well, I'll rest. And I tried resting and fucking voila.
It's fun when you figure shit out like that on your own. And it's rare a game makes you do that. And it's sad that it's rare that a game makes you do that. Anyways, rest again. And now we are at 40 fucking 8 endurance. We are gonna get maximum awesome hit point adjustments when we level. Now Thundar and Harry are, are also benefiting from this. We have to keep this in mind. We're doing this attribute bounce with these two party members. So that automatically makes me want to kind of hang on to them. And I don't mind having another barbarian in the in the band. And I definitely don't mind having Ariel. She's a keeper either way. She's going to be getting fat fucking hit point bon uh, bonuses from this. Uh, I would kind of like to have another cleric. So we might give Thundar the boot eventually. But for now we're pumping up our fucking dudes. Because we want our six main characters to definitely benefit from the extra additional hit points per level. Speaking of which, I have the attribute value chart in front of me. We were at, we were all sitting at about 17 to 18 uh, endurance, which gives you plus three hit points per level. Next time we hit a level, we're going to be in the 45 to 59 range, and that gives us plus eight. So our mages our thieves, or whatever, ninjas. Everyone's going to be getting an extra plus five. It's a pretty huge bonus on every level. That's going to add up quick. So we're going to make one more trip down here. can avoid all the fights as long as you're careful so there's no real reason to save There you go. 58 fucking endurance. Everybody's hooked up. So let's give one good save in there. Saved up. So what's the next attribute we're going to go for, oh mighty game hoarder? We're kind of doing these in easy level. You can see I got my little my little cheat sheet up over here. Whoa, what the fuck? Where the fuck did game go? What the fuck? All right. <laughs> Shit happens when it's 222 and you got some high ABV alcohol in you. I think the next attribute we'll go fuck with is uh, strength and some might. Get some might.
Food, we're still good on food. I don't think we can go up any levels, but I'm gonna go check because I'm drunk and I can't remember. Fuck me running. I always forget to grab that free clairvoyance. Well, Thundar can. He just got 23 fucking hit points. She can't. Anyways, holy shit. Yeah, we need some experience. God damn. The curve got real. Look at how much Thundar jumped, though. That's huge. It's a shame we did not do that buff earlier, but it is going to benefit us greatly only being level 9 and 10. You have to get enough levels to get to level 5 spells for teleport anyways to be able to pull that off. So, we, we kind of did it as early as we could either way. Alright, let's continue our adventure here. We're feeling a little groovy. We got Thundar. Lug Lug Trog to protect us. Shit, even Clock is rolling in the triple digits of hit points now. Let's get everyone strong. Yeah. Let's see what happens. We're gonna fly to C3, baby. Welcome to Gates to Another World Ghetto. We need a little brown eye, I mean eagle eye. Druids only? That's fucking me, baby. Eerie shadows dance off the six megalithic stones that stand ominously in a semicircle. From a bloodstained sacrificial altar, a voice booms, Password! Wrong, look to the stones. I'm not a password, asshole. We have an I. We have a D. It's the same D. S. An old druid cackles. Your breath really reeks of my favorite red hot wolf nipple chips. Take this spell, Nature's Gate. All right. We just got the Nature's Gate spell. Because we had the uh, red hot wolf nipple chips. Strange pagan symbols and runes carved on the trees of the oak grove are deciphered by your linguist. The message reads The Pegasus is called Mimi. We already fucking knew that. Oh shit, druids. Hate it when they get advantage. We gotta get our accuracy up or our fucking speed. Alright, druids are about to start hitting the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. 
Nah, motherfuck. Better off with the lightning bolt. Druid goes down and sucks a little bit of dick on his way. Good. Good. Thunder fucks him up. Holy shit, it's a silent horn and a crossbow four. We'll take it. All right, we got another password. I'm gonna guess Zid because I played a lot of Final Fantasy. And there's only three letters we got. S-I-D. Look to the stones. I did look to the stones, motherfucker. There's more stones, I bet. Gonna take a wild guess here. Cause three letters I have could make the word druids. The altar moves, revealing an ancient well opening. Go down. Gee. Knee high. Putrid water, you notice human and animal bones, skulls, and carved votive figures lodged in the mud. It stinks like shit down here. It smells like a get town. Alright, let's see how this works. There might be a way to teleport in here besides using a spell. But I'm just gonna try using my spiel. Cause I ain't got time for all the bullshit. I just wanna go one square. And I'm eating that spinach. Maybe that spinach wasn't what I needed. Too dangerous. Might be some other trick to this one as well. There we go. Once again, you have to rest. We should have got on my way, bitch. God damn it, Low Wang. Plus three metal, hero metal? This all sounds so exciting.
We're gonna go in a few more times at least. put in a very convenient spot if you have teleport like very convenient to my I can, get, I can put him right on 60 he'll max at 52 unfortunately 51 45 we can do two more for her 45 55 41 51 clock Ronstock could take two. I guess it's just gonna pause. Only one way to find out. This is the video of getting buff. I'm not sure why you wouldn't spam this. Uh, there's the, the Cuisinart cheat which I actually looked into and tried a couple times and it's just not feasible at this point. But you can go kill a guy that gives you like 2 million experience and will get you to level 70 in no time. I decided that's a little bit too much. I don't think the stats here will break the game, but... It sure is fucking help! do for a little uber power and the bottom line is I earn the spells to get me there fuck yeah I'm eating that spinach baby Fifty two. Let's we'll start hitting for some damage. Damage. All right, so let's see what happens if we go again. I don't think you can go over 60 like this, so I think the people that would go over 60 are going to be stuck at 50. And I'm hoping Trog will go to directly to 60, which is supposedly the max you can do from this. I haven't tested it myself, but I trust my resources. definitely made getting those bonuses a lot easier in this so far than they did in Might and Magic 1. Because it was definitely not this easy. Not to spam it. In fact, you can only do it once, I believe.
All right, so I'm uh, I went through it again to make sure I didn't fuck up, and it looks like if any character cannot level to 60, then none of them can. So we're kind of stuck here, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, because Lugla can't go to 62, and Low Wing can't go to 61, and Viper definitely can't go to 65. So uh, what I could do is I could remove everyone from the party and take Trog here, and he'd go to 60 if I took him by himself. But I don't think it's that big a deal. We're talking about the differences of one and two. So one damage in, in combat is not going to make or break the game even close, even even really 10, plus 10 or minus 10 at this point is not going to make or break the game. This is all very small micromanaging that we're doing here. Uh, but anyways, we do want to try to get, uh, you know, our characters up to demigod level. Because that that's what makes wizardry and might and magic and, and all these games, all these awesome R RPGs so much fun. So, anyways, I think we're going to wrap it up for this video. I'm tired as fuck. It's 3 a.m. Uh, I've had too much alcohol and it's time for me to go to sleep. So, we'll see you soon and thanks for watching. Take care.